The next station is Shibuya. Golf was born on the ancient links of Scotland in the 15th century. At that same time, a city that would soon be known as Tokyo was under construction where I stand now. We're here over 600 years later with Manners and the PGA Tour to watch the Zozo Championship and explore just what golf in Tokyo has to offer. I'm James Wilson and welcome to a change of course. me as a kid. Cute, right? That little guy dreamt of playing professional golf on tour. He worked his butt off for it, but all good things come to an end. Two years ago, I joined the team at Manners and switched the meticulous tracking of stats and scores to play golf courses well off the beaten track. We're 6,000 miles from home in a land where the mountains spit fire and the trains move like bullets. Amongst the food, fashion, and mind-blowing landscapes lies a rich tapestry of golf culture. That's why we're here, to explore what it means to play golf in and around Japan's capital and attend the sixth rendition of the Zozo Championship. We've been invited along as the stands are being erected to take on a little challenge, but not before we grab some breakfast. Um, we've stopped off at the 7-Eleven convenience store. I was just saying the locals must think we're crazy because we're fascinated by what's going on in there, but the selection of products is honestly like mind-blowing. This is the most insane breakfast I've ever had. It's hot. So oh, hot. wow. So we've got our stash and we're off to the golf course. We're in Narashino Country Club on the 16th tee, the first of the three signature finishing holes here for the Zozo Championship. I'm here with Sabu, a golf content creator from Tokyo, Josh Park, resident swing instructor, and Shun of Mon Lake Golf. The challenge is, with a Texas scramble format, can we break par over these iconic finishing three holes? It's 189 yards to kick things off, water short and left up to the side of the green. The turf on this tee is pristine, to the point where we were sort of thinking, are we allowed to tee off from here? Uh, the answer is yes, but I feel particularly guilty about taking a divot out of this, out of this turf. So the, the goal is to not hit it in the water, but also sort of pick it so cleanly off the tee that, um, that we don't damage the grass. Anyway, we'll see how we get on. Sean's gonna lead the way. There it is. He's christened right, we, the tee. We <laughs> Josh, why am I actually a bit nervous? Are you also a bit nervous? Yes, I've been nervous for the last hour and a half. I've never played on the PGA Tour before. Oh my god. Draw. Draw. God, that was a bad swing. Oh, cut! You hit on that ridge, it's just going down. Yes! Good shot! So a narrow miss of the grandstand on the 180 yard par three, but we are on solid ground. A little up and down for par just to get things moving. No problem at all. What a shot. Four and a half feet up the hill. We want to share the load. So Sabu's going to roll this one in for par. Let's go, let's go. Par four. <laughs> don't, don't look over there. You're not allowed to look. 491 yards not the number you want to see under the words par four. If we can par this hole, we've got a very good chance on 18 of making birdie and, and completing the challenge. One, three, five, pretty flat, not much wind. Yes, James. It felt pin high, about eight feet left of it maybe. Good chance for birdie. And then we're, then we're in the money. We have taken every one of James's shots, but here we are again. We've got three feet for birdie on a 490 yard par four. Beautiful. Let's go. Beautiful. Thank you, James. A birdie takes us to one under. We've got a par five finishing hole that is uh, apparently reachable, so we could smash this out of the park and go to two under, but we'll find out. Par five to finish, 562. Remember when you said it was reachable? Uh, yeah, I did say that, um, we can cut that. Looks like another draw hole. Dog leg round to the left, uh, so try and cut the corner a little bit. This was my dream growing up, to be on the 18th tee at a championship golf course, traveling the world, 
playing for a lot of money against people like Tiger Woods. This is a close second. This is a close second. Oh, so Stay good. Right. Stay right. Finally, I hit a drive that counts. We have 260 yards to the pin. We're gonna have Sean go first so that he could get us into play. And then from there, James and I are gonna go for the green. So unfortunately, Sean did not get us in play. <laughs> so Salvo will now take over and get us into play. Oh, yes. 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 Salvo has gotten us into play. Thank you so much. Now we're gonna go for the green. A little uh, scramble tip. Make sure you use someone else's divot to tee it up. Nice. Yes, sir. Cut. Keep cut. I managed to hit a fade, and it landed on the green, and we've got 20 feet for eagle. Ooh, good, good try. Line. Just a little, ooh, same thing. Same part. <laughs> Stay up. Stay up. Great, Great play. Thank you. We have reached our goal. We shot two under in four holes. New respect for these PGA Tour players. This course is playing tough. Narrow, rough is long, zoysia, grainy. Not many people get to play on a PGA Tour venue the week before the event in tournament conditions, so this was epic. Japan's famous for having these crazy, like, second-hand golf stores. Kind of like a Goodwill in the U.S., um, but just, like, multiple-story buildings with all second-hand stuff. And there's brands over here that you cannot get in uh, the U.K. and the U.S. Think Mura, but more niche. So we're on our way into some of those stores now to see what we can find. These irons, the LPGA Tour, the PGA Tour, just players are using this like crazy. It's a Japan-only Callaway Export Star. It's a little bigger head shape, and the internet is just going crazy trying to get these. 9,200 yen is $61. I've never seen this driver. This must be a Japan-only grape over the Epic head. It's older, don't get me wrong, but that is, for $60, might have to get this. That feels pretty good. That's Limited flight ball. That's why I'm its own carrying 255, 260, but I think those feel pretty good. I got a driver. This man is so impulsive. He's just bought a driver, first of all. He's now unwrapped it on the street to the tube, and he's now wrapped the second bit of wrapping off while sitting on the tube because he needs to look at the driver. Paris, London, New York, Tokyo. These are the fashion hubs of the world. Brands like Essie Miyake and Combe de Garçon rose to notoriety in the 1980s, cementing Tokyo's position on the sartorial map. Now the city's unique style is leaping from the runways to the fairways. We checked in with Yosuke of the Divot Store to find out why. How has golf culture changed in Japan over the last two, three, four years? けど、こう、This country is home to 8 million golfers. In a city as large as Tokyo, popping out for a quick 18 isn't always easy. But that doesn't mean you can't get your fix. In a sleepy suburb near Kamido, the locals are honing their putting strokes. No one wants to go first because we don't know the pace of the greens, we don't know the break. It's a massive advantage. So the tee's going up. Could you just spread yourself evenly, please? Tee's going up. Whoever it points at has to go first. Yeah. <laughs> There's these three old dudes who are clearly just absolute veterans of this particular location. One of them's got golf shoes on, and uh, yeah, they're just they're just whizzing round, and the balls are going to this distance every time. Meanwhile, we're sort of six putting our way around. What a putt! That's a huge birdie. 
We've just had a good day in the city doing some shopping and we've come to Lotta Kasai driving range uh, just near the city. I think it's the closest place you can come to hit some balls. There's a constant revolving door of trains and helicopters on the back end of the range. It's this big semicircle shape that goes around the hitting area. It's pretty sweet, three floors as well. If you know where to look, you'll find golf in every corner of this city, but nothing quite compares to lush green rolling fairways. Golf in Japan is considered an all-day activity. We're eager to find out what that entails. We're on our way to Narita Golf Club, one of Greater Tokyo's premier venues, for a day of traditional Japanese golf. Your key at Narita Golf Club is, is the key to everything. You, um, any drinks you get, any golf balls you get, it all just goes onto your tab that's attached to your key. We're just hitting a few balls at Narita Golf Club in the sunshine. Shigeki Mariyama sitting balls next to us. For context, he was the assistant captain at the President's Cup in Montreal two weeks ago and is one of six players to um, have a 5-0-0 record in a, in, in a single President's Cup. So looking at the way he's flushing it down the range, he definitely can play. We're in the first day at Narita Golf Club. I'm with Corey, who is the Director of Marketing and Communications for Asia for the PGA Tour. We're gonna do a little four ball, better ball, me and Sean versus Josh and Corey, and see how we get on. The new person comes up to the tee, he'll say, Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku? Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yeah. Here we are, right? So in Japan, the golf carts are automatic, so you just give a little Beautiful. So normally you get a little. That's the that's the noise when it goes in the in the hole. But this time you get a sort of metal clinking, and it's arguably even more satisfying. You want that again? So there's a few key differences between the caddies in the UK and US uh, compared to Japan. You generally get one four caddy per four ball. You're in a sort of automated uh, self-driving buggy and the caddies are there just to kind of keep the pace of play up and make things generally easier. Uh, this is Ito, our caddy for the day. Hi. Japan is located on the Pacific Ring of Fire, where over 80% of the world's volcanic activity takes place. As a result, natural disasters have plagued Japan's cities for centuries, but the silver lining is the onsen. The natural hot springs dotted around the country offer spiritual spaces for healing and relaxation. So you come into the onsen, a little shower, a sit-down shower, which is quite a nice experience actually. Uh, you get this rag, you're probably wondering what this is. You get this towel, you kind of shimmer yourself down, um, and then apparently proper practice is to fold it up and put it on your head so you don't need to worry about what you're doing with your hands. And that uh, gives you a nice bit of posture as well, so it's a win-win. Lunch at the halfway point is almost mandatory here. It was born in the 1980s when golf was a prominent form of business entertainment in Japan. Things have changed since then, but this tradition stuck. The perfect respite if you can't find your swing, an hour of purgatory if you're heading for a personal best. All of us together, we should say, Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Like this? Yep. You dip it. And then slurp? Yes. Permission to slurp, granted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One more slurp. slurp, slurp. One more slurp. Big slurp. Slurping <laughs> etiquette perfected. It's clear the quality of food in Japan is unrivaled. Omakase, meaning I'll leave it up to you, is up next. We invited Kaito, an Olympic fencer with a newly found passion for golf, to join us. And I was like, man, I've always wanted to try golf. 
I don't know where to start. I don't know anything about equipment. Right after the Tokyo Olympics, I had like, I met a few people like, you should try golf, we'll play with you. Oh, now I need to play. <laughs> and the moment I played, I was so hooked on it. In Japan, those who achieve mastery are known as shokunin. In disproportionate numbers, they find their way to the fairways. After all, what could be more intoxicating to the devoted than this endlessly complicated game? <laughs> Trekking across ancient Japan was treacherous. Honjins, which would later develop into ryokans, were erected in the Edo period to house weary noblemen as they navigated the country. The buzz of the city has left us in need of tranquility, and our ryokan in the historic town of Hakone offers the perfect respite. Historically, golf in Japan has been the pastime of the middle-aged businessmen, but not anymore. Over the last few years, the sport has seen an influx of young people. Photographers, skaters, designers, and everyone in between are starting to groove their swings. We caught up with Yu Kanemaru, a Japanese racing driver and founder of Mid-90s Club. This year, I'm, I'm racing with a GTR okay. and a Supra. Cool. And is it, it's track stuff, like yeah. you're on a track? Yeah. Okay. okay, nice. Fuji Classic, I think we're in a higher altitude than we used to play, so everything flies farther. Is there something in Japanese culture that makes golf so appealing? Like, why, why is it so popular? There's tons of like golf courses in Japan. Yeah. Like you can find like if, you, if you're living outside of Tokyo, you can find it everywhere. Yeah. There's over there's something like two and a half thousand. Though. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So if you're living like close to it, yeah. Like, there's no like reason yeah. not to go. Yeah. yeah. So finish nine holes at Fuji Classic. Gonna go and get some lunch as is customary. So there's a regular katsu and then there's the mega katsu and we obviously had to order the mega katsu. Shaped, so but the rice are. is shaped in yeah. Mount so, Fuji. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's the Fuji-shaped rice pile uh, surrounded in katsu lava. <laughs> yeah. What's the, what's the cheersing etiquette in Japan? Is there like a word for it or what do you do? Yeah, so let's say, James, you're, if you're my boss, right? Mm -hmm. I have to go lower than you. <laughs> so like this. Yeah. And so sometimes when people meet for the first time, I go, go to stand up. Yeah. Like, you have to cheer. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Wait, who goes down? Do you just like compete? You do touch glasses, right? Okay. Just out of bottom. Over 8,000 shrines are located across the land of the rising sun. Built as boundaries between the human world and the domain of the Shinto god, they later became centers of community and education. This one is special because it has undoubtedly the best view of Mount Fuji in the entire country, providing you come on a clear day. So we got to the Ryokan late last night, um, had to get in the onsen, had to do all the things, and then straight to sleep, up early this morning, and then we sort of had to rush to, to get to the golf club. Kind of just we found ourselves on the first hole, a little bit manic, but I'm feeling zen again, I'm feeling peaceful. We're at Kagasaka Golf Club in Fuji with Ken and Kenya from Address. We're gonna play a little nine hole match. What else going to Gosh match? Yeah, let's go. So as well as being able to hit golf shots like that, Kenya, I understand you're a professional skateboarder <laughs> and a a practicing Buddhist monk, is that correct? Yeah. How the practicing um, Buddhism and skateboarding kind of feed into each other? It's meditation. We do meditation a lot, so mm -hmm. it's connected to playing golf. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
from what I understand, so much of it is about acceptance. I think you can see it in his golf game even. He's just so calm. So calm. If he does hit a bad shot, it doesn't even phase him. He's yeah. just yeah. sad, you know? Nice. Yeah. And he just has amazing stories. To become a Buddhist monk, what you have to go through is yeah. so intense. Yeah. And I, you know, I think most of us never experienced anything like that in our lives. And, yeah. and he's been through two years of the most intense, kind of insane training that yeah. nobody would ever put themselves through. Yeah. Kind of, and so I, I think it does, it affects you. And it's great to see him on the golf course. So final round in Japan complete at Kagasawa Golf Club. Beautiful golf course, mist coming down over the mountains. Um, Zozo Championship tomorrow. That's why we're here, hosting a few friends um, and see how the PGA Tour guys battle those final three holes that we took on earlier in the week. We're at the Zozo Championship. This is like the culmination of everything that we've been doing in Japan. Everything kind of comes down to this, and we are going to enjoy the golf course in this epic tournament. Looking forward to it. We're seeing Justin Thomas, we're seeing Siwoo Kim, we're seeing Minwoo Lee. It's a star studded cast. We're on the 16th hole at the Zozo. The pros are hitting far better shots than we were. One thing I've noticed about the fans here is they're extremely well dressed. It's very peaceful. It's uh, Thursday, so things are a little bit quieter, a bit more calm. Everyone's clapping at the right shots. Very quiet when people are over the ball. Golf etiquette at its finest. I was a little bit worried when, we, when I found out we were coming to Japan. You know, it's a world away from London. There's a big language barrier. There's some huge cultural differences, some of which are slightly intimidating when you hear about them from friends. You know, you need to show respect here, do this thing there, don't make any noise on the subway. None of them are really true, by the way. Probably the main thing that I noticed was there's a, a level of uh, consideration from the greenskeepers at the golf courses to the staff here to the taxi drivers to the people that greet you at, the, at your hotel that makes it clear that they're sort of part of a larger community. They're not cutting any corners, they're taking care of what they need to take care of and they're doing it with diligence. And I think that's what allows a city that is, there's 40 million people that live here and yet it runs in this sort of perfect harmony because everyone takes care of what they need to take care of. And it all comes from this, these little acts of respect and generosity that are just sort of ingrained in the culture here. You know, the, the old lady at the mini golf who has walked over as we were, we were leaving to pick up a leaf that, a solitary leaf that was on the AstroTurf next to the, the final hole and then placed it back in the, in the flower beds to the side. And like that, like I was on the phone to my dad and I, I said that to him 